वेलकम बैक टू एम एल टी वर्ल्ड चैनल टूडे फ्रेंड्स आई विल डिस्कस यू अबाउट सी आर पी टेस्ट सी आर पी स्टैंड फॉर सी रिएक्टिव प्रोटीन टेस्ट सो सी आर पी टेस्ट ऑल्सो वी विल डिस्कस बाई क्वेश्चन आंसरिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वाट इज सी आर पी टेस्ट अ सी आर पी और सी रिएक्टिव प्रोटीन टेस्ट एक्चुअली मयर्स द लेवल ऑफ सी रिएक्टिव प्रोटीन इन द blood and what is and where the crp reactive protein is produced crp protein is made by liver and normally our body have very low levels of c reactive protein in blood and but liver will release more crp if there is any inflammation in the body so high level of crp means the there is a inflammation in the body or there is a serious health condition that cause inflammation inflammation in a body is actually it is a way of protecting tissues and help the body to heal from injury or disease inflammation can be acute or temporary this type of inflammation is helpful but it will if it become prolonged that can be a sign of chronic infect, infection and autoimmune disorder so inflammation if become more long it will be chronic inflammation and chronic infection such as autoimmune disorders and other diseases can cause harmful chronic inflammation so crp test will show that there is inflammation in the body or not or if there is inflammation that how much level of inflammation but it will not tell us the location of inflammation in our body next question is what is used for means the crp test may be used to help or find out or monitor inflammation in acute and chronic conditions and that will be infections from bacteria or viruses inflammatory bowel disease or disorders of the intestine that includes crohn disease and ulcerative colitis next is autoimmune disorders such as lupus erythematosus rheumatoid arthritis and vasculitis and next is lung disease such as asthma next question is why do we need or what are the symptoms if crp uh, that need crp test it is fever or chills rapid heart rate rapid breathing and nausea and vomiting so these are the symptoms and then what type of sample is required to perform crp test we required blood and blood blood is taken from the vein I mean the sample is collected from the vein of the patient and then sample will be collected in vacutainer tube red or yellow cap tube but the sample can collect any time fasting is not required for this sample collection and how the most important point how to interpret the results how we will understand there are two types of crp tests performed in the lab qualitative and quantitative tests so first we will see the qualitative results that if qualitative crp test results will be how we will report that will be report in very simple way either it will be negative and if there is see infection inflammation it will come positive but the quantitative is more accurate than the qualitative test qualitative sorry quantitative crp test how we will report the neg if negative it will be less than 6.0 but it depends sometime on kit and the machine if it is positive it will be more than 6.0 and how much severe inflammation will be that much high crp will be sometimes 6 10 11 100 uh, it depends on the type of inf infection and inflammation at the last just to understand that what is high sensitive or hs crp test crp test sometimes confused with high sensitivity crp test they are both are they both may be crp but they are used for different conditions and hs high sensitivity crp test measures very tiny increase in crp level and it is used to estimate the 
risk of heart disease so specially or specifically to check the risk of heart disease high sensitivity crp test is performed in this video i hope you understand the concept of uh, crp test what is crp test and why we need crp test thank you so much